Now our next topic is transformer. Transformer is basic an electric device which is used for changing the AC voltages. Okay, so it is an electric device, electric device used for changing, changing AC voltages means it can be used to increase the voltage or it can be used to decrease the voltage so basically when it increases the voltage that is known as step up transformer and when it is decreases the voltage then it is known as step down transformer so we will understand about step up transformer and another one is step down means how this transformer can act as step up transformer and how it can act as step down transformer okay so now let us firstly study about its principle basically to transformer hair that is based on the principle of mutual induction mutual induction we have already studied what is that that is whenever the flux changes in one it produces the change in flux into another and the emf is being induced okay so we will be using this that is whenever the amount of magnetic flux linked with one coil changes and emf is induced in the neighboring coil by uh, due to the flux of the first okay now let us have a discussion about the construction here this is a laminated core laminated from each other each sheet is being laminated from each other so as to avoid the effect of eddy currents as we have already discussed that in case of laminated sheets the eddy current has been considerably reduced and let this is a first coil which is known as primary coil p1 and p2 that is we have taken the number of turns in the primary coil to be lesser than the secondary coil this s1 and s2 is known as secondary coil an input ac signal alternating device is being connected across the across the primary coil and output is being obtained across the resistance load resistance rs and here this is a switch which ensures that there will be no supply of current until the switch is off on uh, switch is on okay now for an idle uh, transformer we assume that the resistance of the primary and secondary windings are negligible so that there are no energy losses due to these resistance now let us discuss about how does a transformer act as a primary uh, step up transformer and step down transformer so the theory says what does theory says theory says that first of all the alternating emf source is producing an emf which is given by e not sin of omega t let we give it number 1 and we represent that ep ep represent the alternating emf across the primary coil okay now we also have studied that uh, when if this primary coil is to be purely inductor means there is that is a non inductive coil means there is zero resistance okay purely inductive and there is zero resistance in that case what will happen whenever the uh, sinusoidal emf is being applied an emf will induce which will oppose its cause and accordingly the current in the primary will lag behind the voltage by pi by 2 we have already studied so we can say that here the current ip will lag the voltage which is ip ep by 90 degree we have already studied in this previous chap chapter so in this case we can say the power factor which is cos phi which will be zero it means there is no loss or no power dissipated in case of primary and moreover if on applying the alternating emf if flux phi b is produced in that case so jo flux is primary coil mein associated hoga and since there is a negligible resistance of these windings in this primary and these also so same flux will be generated in the secondary also so if we say that e turn is the emf produced per turn emf produced per turn right 
and if ep is the voltage which is produced across the primary and es is the voltage across the secondary so in that case we can in case in that case we can say that e turn which is equal to rate of change of flux is given by ep by np or which is also same that is ns by np means that flux is same in case of primary and secondary also so from here we can have the value of es is equal to this es is equal to this is ns ep ns by np where ns and np represent the number of turns in the secondary and primary now if ns is greater than np so accordingly this es will be greater than ep means if number of turns in the secondary coil are more then the number of turns in the primary coil in that case the voltage developed across the secondary will be more so in that case we can say this will be a step up transformer step up transformer and similarly if we say that if ns is less than np so in that case es is less than ep so it means if number of turns in case of secondary are lesser than the number of turns in case of primary so in that case the voltage developed across the secondary will be lesser so since the voltage is lesser we have decreased the voltage so we can say that in that case this transformer will act as step down transformer so basically we can say that if number of turns here are more the voltage has been increased from its initial value so that is a step up transformer and if number of turns in the secondary are lesser so in that case voltage developed will be lesser so that case in that case that is known as step down transformer here this ns by np is known as the transformation ratio which basically defines us whether the device which we are used for transforming is an step up or step down transformer okay so now the basically we can say that this relation that we have find out this one depends upon can be uh, satisfied only if few conditions are uh, clear to us that is a uh, primary resistance that we have already discussed and currents are small so there is no effect of that okay and there is no leakage of magnetic field means whatever the magnetic field is being produced in the primary is being developed across the induced across the secondary also then only this condition will be satisfied and also we can say that uh, uh, the rate of transfer of energy okay since there is no uh, leakage of magnetic flux so whatever is the magnetic flux in the primary will develop across the secondary now as we can say that there is no loss of energy so the rate at which the trans generator or the source whatever we have used is transforming the energy to the primary is is ep ip we know that power is given by uh, ei and rate of transfer of energy is equivalent to the power so that is equal to ev ip and the rate at which the energy is being transferred to the secondary is given by es is so in that case if there is no loss of energy we can say that es is is equal to ep ip right so from here we can find out is is equal to ep by es into ip now we have already uh, written that we know that ep by es is equal to np by ns we have already derived this relation so putting this value we can say that is is equal to ip into np divided by ns or we can say this is ip by k right so for step up transformer for step up transformer transformer right ns is greater than np okay so accordingly is should be less than ip 
so we can say since for step of transformer ns is greater than np therefore is is greater than uh, is is lesser than ip so we can say that for a step up transformer if the voltage that is es increases with number of turns the current decreases means whatever is the increase in voltage is at the cost of current similarly we can prove the reverse case also for that and now we can find out the value of resistance equivalent resistance so if ip is equal to is which is equal to ns by np so that can be written as this can be written as es by r into ns by np now ns es we know that what is es es is ep by r into ns by np and already this is ns by np so this becomes ep by r into ns by np whole square so we can write here ip is equal to ep by r equivalent so what is r equivalent so r equivalent is equal to np by ns whole square into r so this is the relation for the equivalent resistance for the transformer